Hello my soccer universe to the review of what happened in England over the last week and a half. Um, I was going back and forth which uh, review video should I do, should I do uh, League A, a little bit Eredivisie, I thought there was too little happening. And I said, well, there were three competitions in England and maybe it's time that I recognize again that the um, Carabao Cup is a competition that actually people follow and that I don't need to ignore like the Super Cups played in Saudi Arabia from uh, La Liga and Serie A, which, yeah, despite it being a Milan Derby, I'm going to uh, not recognize that one. I do not like the League Cup as an idea. It is uh, mainly not uh, because it's a, a it's, no, it's not a comp competition that I, as a continental, really understand. I do understand a little bit of the history behind it and maybe that it means something for uh, the clubs involved, uh, especially the lower league clubs, the financial stability, blah, blah, blah. I understand that. At the moment, I'm thinking we have way too many comp competitions. Uh, we had France getting rid of their league cup. Why isn't England following suit as well? Because honestly, of the th three competitions, this is clearly the least important to the teams involved. I also had uh, come around when, you know, last season I watched that final and that was a really good final. Despite there not being any goals, but then there were plenty of goals in the penalty shootout. And after the World Cup, I actually did watch Manchester City against Liverpool. So I said, okay, there were some interesting results. It is time to cover that. But we not only have that, we have a Premier League round that was now a week ago. That was very interesting and we are just ahead of a monumental uh, two Premier League weekends that mm, could very well uh, tell us a lot where this title race is going. So I find that already uh, super interesting. Uh, we had an FA Cup round that was full of upsets, the magic of the cup. And we even had the magic of the cup, if you're honest, in the League Cup. Southampton <laughs> ousting uh, Manchester City. Um, to me, though, the biggest story over is, yes, we could talk about the uh, City-Chelsea double and Chelsea again going on a nonsensical spending spree instead of addressing the issues that they actually have. Um, we could talk about Arsenal maybe a little bit stuttering in the league, but not quite because it's only one game that we can talk about. We can talk about the exploits of Newcastle. But honestly, it's these guys, Manchester United, that are looking at least on track to get at least one title this season, uh, which is such a turn around. I mean, Eric Ten Hag really, now that Ronaldo is gone, they really seem to have found a turnaround. Maybe it's a little bit early, but at least in the League Cup, I could very well see the, uh, this form carrying forward and them actually getting some. So, so something that I'm already starting to really looking forward to the Manchester United Barcelona clash that we're gonna get in the Europa League playoffs. Bye. That could be a very, very, very interesting one, I gotta say. So huge credit to those. Also, uh, you see Spurs are suddenly up there. We have been railing against them and that they don't on the ground and go to Crystal Palace and beat them. But, you know, since I'm wearing Southampton, Crystal Palace are losing two weird teams as well. So maybe it doesn't count for all that much. I would say... We look at this Premier League round 19, which would be the halfway point if it wasn't for the national mourning around the death of the Queen. Started out already on the 2nd of January, so this is a long time ago. So we had really uh, one and a half weeks with Brentford beating Liverpool very resoundingly. Um, I think I said it already, uh, those green Liverpool jerseys might be the ones that are the best of the bunch this season. I actually do like li do like them. I always want to have a yellow one, but that that was a really interesting result. I gotta say, um, because it showed that Liverpool are still not quite looking right. That much has 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 been said. Um, I was really looking forward to watching Arsenal against Newcastle because that seemed to be a proper top match. And for a little bit, it was while Newcastle was trying to play with our Arsenal, but. Uh, after 15, 20, 20 minutes in Newcastle, they basically decided, no, we're gonna frustrate the hell out of Arsenal and are really seizing deep and let, our, let Arsenal try to break us down. 
And that's where Arsenal had problems. Yes, they created chances, but overall they frust they got frustrated. And it was even more frustrating because there were clear two penalty shots where I think at least one penalty of those should have been given. The first one with the short pull. Uh, but even the handball, I have seen given. So I think Arsenal uh, can feel very aggrieved that they didn't get these points. At that point, they extended the lead to eight points, but it was pretty, pretty clear if uh, City win... The lead is already back to five points, which, yes, was already sensational to have it before, um, but would actually swing again the pendulum a little bit more, give control to City, who now by winning out would uh, be able to win the title. So that a little bit points lost. I thought that Arsenal were over the better team, although I uh, gotta give it to Newcastle, who defended stoutly and resolutely. And this is always something um, that is underappreciated, so I want to point it out as well. Everton find themselves a huge heap of trouble, losing 4-1 at home to Brighton. And um, it seems the, the time of um, Lampard is potentially coming to an end relatively soon. I think the reason why he is not fired is because there's not a viable alternative potentially. Uh, there, Fulham beating Leicester, also Motor for Leicester. United over Bournemouth. As it, this was the first one in a row. United are really lo looking good. Casemiro giving them a first goal assist by Eriksen. Luke Shaw right after the break and then uh, Rashford who cannot help but scoring at the moment, although he, he rarely scores the one nils. You usually... Um, Runs up the score in, in, in a way. A uh, huge win for Forrest, a 1 0 over Southampton. And at that point, you everyone thought yes, Southampton seems to be a team in trouble. And yet, here I'm sitting because of cup exploits uh, wearing a Southampton shirt. Um, Leeds and, and West Ham played out a very entertaining draw. Each team taking turns. Villa, Wolves, and it's in a 1 1. And then Harry Kane shows that he's a world class striker, scoring in the second half. Uh, for once, Spurs are not down. For once, they take take it and look fairly convincing against the Crystal Palace side. That can cause quite some trouble to teams, but not this time around. And so uh, that one ends in a 4 0 destruction of Palace. Chelsea against City was a very weird first half. Honestly, I have to tell you, I really didn't think this was a, a good game overall. Uh, especially City looked completely off and uh, Chelsea had the better chances. I mean, they should have taken the lead uh, through um, was it Chukwemeka who came off for Pulisic. And the injury bug hits Chelsea big time. Sterling and Pulisic had to come off in the first half already. But it was very, very clear that there was City did not look right. However, they said it right. Uh, Guardiola seemingly said, okay, we were lucky in the first, 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 first half. We got on Akanji, then uh, Luis for Walker and Cancelo. A little bit later, Mares and Grealish came on. And, Ma and they are just on for a few minutes. And Grealish assists Mares and it's 1-0 City. Who at that point then looked rather comfortable up until the end when maybe Chelsea could have got the equalizer. But in the end, I think then just City were just a tad better. And they could at this point cut the lead uh, that Arsenal had over them in the league, which we see here in the standings. It's now only five points between the two of them. And again, last time it was just uh, almost a 50-50 between the two of them. Now it's uh, City very firmly 65%. Newcastle and United round out the top four. However, you see already making it to a champions, there's still Liverpool in there. And I think while Liverpool doesn't look quite right at the moment, and yes, they also have the injury bug. None of these injuries are season-ending injuries. Um, also, we have a rather uneven table because of, you know, some teams having more uh, games more played than others. So it's always good to look on the right side to the adjusted standings where I adjust for that. So you get the average points. At that moment, United are already in third place. Liverpool a little bit closer to uh, Newcastle and Spain. And I think it's between the to those three who will make the last Champions League spot. And I can very well see Liverpool grabbing that one. Chelsea just barely in the top half. And Chelsea is definitely a team in trouble. On the bottom, Everton, trouble. Wolves, Southampton at the moment. But, you know, it's a little bit less than 50 percent played. There's a lot of things that can uh, still change. We also have West Ham down there, which is something we did not expect at all. Um, 
in the expected standings and you know have those in mind is now City with the three point lead on average over Arsenal so because there's still a lot of season to to, to play the one would still think City and you see already with the ratings that City and Liverpool are very much higher rated than Arsenal are at the moment but Arsenal are the third best team already they turned this around uh you see a little bit movements up 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 and down the table especially west ham is and west ham and leicester are two teams that we didn't expect to be that low and so their good ratings still keep them a little bit out of trouble we have to see how this pan pans out it would be actually interesting to see how these expected standings uh you know in a post-season review to uh, compare how uh, these were overall working with the final exp uh, with, with the final standings. As I said, we have massive games coming up. I mean, already tonight we have Fulham against Chelsea. A Chelsea has now Joao Felice also. A player that I think could be very exciting for the Premier League. However, I don't think he will solve the problems. We also have then, and this is already then um, next, uh, Thursday in a week from now, City against Spurs and while the favorite is clear with City, Spurs have been beating City on a regular basis. The remaining games have still to be scheduled as of now. But then on the weekend, we have two really big ones, two big derbies. We have the Manchester Derby on Saturday at 1.30. Um, actually, I think this one is a wide open game, especially the way that United have been playing. But it might also be the time where, uh, given recent results, that City say, OK, let's make an example out of United and completely destroy them. Um, the other one, of course, is the North London Derby. Uh, Arsenal need that win. I mean, it depends on what City will do against United uh, as well. Spurs also need them. I think this is also a really, really, really exciting game. And those are the two games that stick out. But it doesn't stop there because the weekend after, uh, if you thought it's going to let, let up. No, we have Arsenal against United. That's the big one on the Sunday after. And as a little appetizer, again, the 1.30 or the two, in England, the 12.30 spot between Liverpool and Chelsea, a classic matchup where, you know, both teams that are a little bit in trouble. But that's a pretty big one there as well. But, you know, with Arsenal playing United, United is playing now the two title favorites uh, and can very well decide and maybe even get themselves potentially back into contention, although there is a clear uh, distance between those two. But, you know, get two wins and you are right back in business. Let's look at the FA Cup and continue the praise on United, which actually will mean certain doom <laughs> for the Red Devils. Um... They had not really trouble with Everton, let's be frank. However, the equalizer by Connor Cody uh, was it was 1 1, and the hair didn't look good on that one. I mean, this was just a brain fart on, 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 on his part, but then Connor Cody scores an own goal to kind of make up for, uh, for his miss. Uh, the goal by Anthony was egg, 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 actually quite nicely taken. And then later on, of course, a rash for penalty settles that one. That that was the highlight game in in a way. We had a few other interesting results. Southampton beating Crystal Palace. As I said Crystal Palace in a little bit of a funk. Uh, Leicester go to Gillingham, win one 0 there. Spurs the less said against Portsmouth, the better. Except the Portsmouth, the the kit looks very much like a France a classic France kit. Uh, and Spurs, of course, like a classic England kit. And Harry Kane scoring a really nice goal. West Ham getting a rare win over Brentford. This was a surprise to me, but then the surprises really come. Boom, 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 boom. And I am sure I'm missing out a few of these uh, because I focus on the Premier League teams. Uh, Sheffield Wednesday against Newcastle. That was even totally um, deserved. And uh, the two goals for Sheffield Wednesday, they were 2 tuned up through windows. Pretty uh, telling. Gimaresh pull, pulling one back. Of course, I have to say now when I see Windes, that's a name, if you spell it out, that looks a little bit weird, <laughs> to say the least. But yeah, one big so so surprise. But maybe that's the one competition where Newcastle giving that they were in the League Cup uh, relatively, relatively far and that they're doing well in the, in the Premier League. They said, okay, let's let this competition slide for now. Uh, Liverpool 
went down uh Gonzalo Gadesh using an Allison error the one that uh, one of the best keepers in the world although I, I wonder if he still is at this point uh always has in there however the turn around Darwin Nunes getting the goal Mohamed Salah after the break scoring the, the scoring the goal go ahead however then again nothing Juan gets an e e e e equalizer and Totti even got a goal that was one of the very weirdest of sights uh, out there. So yeah, there uh, will be a replay, uh, which I'm sure Jurgen Klopp is really, really excited about. Um, Villa, that was probably, probably the upset of, of the round. I didn't have you know, originally in the, in the um, uh, matches that I had, had like I didn't have that match on there because it was a foregone conclusion to me. And Villa had the lead through Sanson, uh, is this by Danny Ings. However, somehow they managed in the 85th minute, one it up, get a red, red card, and then give up a penalty and a losing goal through Reed and Campbell to lowly Stevenage. That is something that no one really expected. On the flip side, um, I think most people expected that City will beat Chelsea, that it will be as decisive as, as it was where a little 15-minute spell, uh, City scored three goals, a brilliant Maris free, free kick, then he gives away the penalty to Julian Al 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 Alvarez and then assists Foden, uh, and later on, he Maris himself scores, goes the penalty. It was everything, it was boys again against men, it seemed like an old Chelsea team, there was nothing there. And this was actually a little bit of a change, City squad, whereas Chelsea more or less went out with a decent squad. Huge trouble for the Blues, for sure. And then Arsenal went to Oxford, had to work hard. I don't know why they played in the white jerseys, I guess they want to make a statement and finally win in those. Takes a while, but then El Nene in, in a double by Nketiah sees them through to the next round. Um, we do have a bunch of makeup games and one game that has not been played yet. Uh, first winner was against Birmingham City. And then we have a few makeup games uh, also involving Premier League sides. For instance, Leeds United, who were 2 0 down uh, against Cardiff City and fought back. Uh, there, um, you see, of course, Wolves against uh, Liverpool is also another one. That I want to point out, uh, but you know, there are more in there of interesting teams, and it's always nice to see uh, some lower league um, teams and especially learn about some club crests for me. We finished the video in what happened over the past two days in the League Cup United against Charles Athletic. A really nice Anthony goal it gave United the lead. Uh, the addicts, though, came sometimes, they had their chances, however, then later on, a double by Rashford settles the game. A game that was never really in doubt, but you know, with a lucky punch here or there, it could have gone the other way. Uh, Newcastle, you remember how they so decisively beat Leicester at the beginning of the, of the, of the year um, at Leicester? This time it took a little bit longer, but it was th but it was thoroughly domination by Newcastle and Burn and then Joel Linton and it's so so funny because I remember Joel Linton playing in the Austrian league, uh, where he was decent. But seeing him now uh, tearing up uh, the Premier League is a little bit uh, weird to watch. Newcastle make it to the semi-finals. Forest beat Wolves on penalties, and then the big sensation of of the round: Manchester City, who had been serial winners there. Um, suddenly, yes, not uh, had five changes to the squad, but it looked really, really weird. Mera getting the go ahead goal, and then uh, Genepo saw that Ortega was out of the goal and lobbed him. And so, in five minutes, it's 2 0. It was an uphill battle that uh, City couldn't come back. And so we have Southampton against Newcastle in the semi-final and Nottingham Forest against United, which is a very traditional duel. It looks like a Newcastle against United final at the moment. However, it would be nice to see a surprise, one or two more surprises there as well. So that is from me what happened in England. As I said, it starts already today. The Premier League will be really exciting. We'll get enough cup games also in there. So let's see when I will make the next video. I will for surely be within the next two weeks, probably after the second Premier League round, unless something really, really interesting happens. Uh, in the other ones, but you know, I've also my short videos to keep you updated. In any case, please let me know what you thought about the happenings in England uh, over the past week and a half. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.
Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.